secrets exposed, 15 things included in the WWE's headquarters. We often associate the WWE as being a circus-like act traveling the globe. What a lot of us wrestling fans tend to forget is just how crucial the WWE headquarters are to the day-to-day -day operations of the company. It is inside that facility that all the magic truly happens. Whether it be a new wrestler inking a deal with the company, or a creative storyline being born, in both situations, the facility is responsible for the act. The company employs up to 20 writers that work from the HQ to put out storylines months in advance. Chances are, the build-up to WrestleMania is most probably done and dusted at this point. Heck, even WWE legend Kurt Angle, is probably appearing at the HQ at some point to meet with the WWE staff and Vince himself. All the stuff we don't see beforehand is born in that very building. Rightfully so. With such information, the company wants to keep what's inside on the down low. The WWE is very secretive when it comes to the HQ in Stanford, as fans have no access to the inside of the building unless you have an appointment in the books. Yes, it's truly that intense. Today, we open the doors of the headquarters and take a look at some things you never knew about the facility. Facility 15. Fourth Floor Writing Team all those ideas and storylines you see on television don't take place backstage during a show, but instead, are planned months in advance in the Stamford, Connecticut headquarters on the fourth floor which features the WWE's creative team. Times have changed drastically, and the days of Vince, Pat Patterson and Gerald Brisco writing an entire show poolside are done. Today. The WWE employs actual television writers to their team of in-house writers. Each writer is given a specific wrestler or storyline to work with, and their job is to come up with the storyline while relaying their idea to the agent who then works with the wrestlers to put together the match. Of course, before all ideas are given the green light, they must be approved by Vince McMahon before making the airwaves. Vince is still very hands-on with his product so whatever goes on his show must get past him first. Bean. Triple H's Fourth Floor Office The WWE wanted us to believe that Triple H had a plain wooden office space when Lesnar completely trashed it while feuding with the game a couple of years back, but surely, most of us weren't buying it. The WWE Network finally exposed Hunter's office as the late Ultimate Warrior took the tour of the room. Along with Hunter's insane memorabilia collection such as classic pro wrestling belts, the room also features a state-of-the-art camera system which we'll discuss a little later. Hunter is the executive vice president of talent, creative and live events for the company. Along with those prestigious titles, Hunter is also mostly known for his involvement down in NXT working as the brand's senior producer along with being the founder of the developmental brand. When he's not at a WWE show or down in Florida with NXT, he spends most his days at the office in Connecticut. Elf. Contains top-of-the-line fitness center. One thing that will never escape Vince is his passion for bodybuilding. Breaking into the wrestling business, McMahon had a huge passion for finding tremendous physiques, so much so that he even attempted to start his own bodybuilding federation which went under at the blink of an eye. Instead, Vince loaded up his roster with some larger-than-life athletes. Although things have changed and Vince now focuses on the athlete part when searching for a future star, he still loves the classical bodybuilding look. Not surprising, he decided to bring that aspect of his life into work by opening up a state-of-the-art facility which features everything from machines, to bench presses, to fully stacked dumbbell weights. His son-in-law Triple H, admitted his father-in-law is quite the savage to this day and still manages to get in a workout on the regular. Hunter admitted that not even he can keep up with Vince and his insane work ethic in the gym. Triple H has a live feed of the Performance Center. Along with his in-house duties that entail him to be at the offices in Stamford, Hunter also has a huge stranglehold in what goes on in NXT. As you can probably imagine. Hunter can't be at three locations at once so he has to compromise. 
One of the ways he's done so is by installing cameras at the performance center that redirect to his office in Stamford. So basically, Hunter is very aware of what is going on at all times. Trips has a second screen that shows the daily activity in his office. Hunter showed off his brilliant piece of technology to late Ultimate Warrior when giving him the tour of the HQ. One can imagine that at the very least, Hunter can be at two places at once as he serves his role at the WWE HQ, while having a watchful eye on what goes on down in Florida at the Performance Center. At the end of the day it's like the old saying goes, work hard, play hard. If she get on top and turn around, I'm bussin' If she do that thing with the mouth, I'm bussin'